Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve yet another important problem from three-dimensional geometry, right? So here we are going to take up one important uh, uh, problem from intersection of uh, planes, right? So here uh, the problem is find the equation of the plane passing through the line of intersection. The line of intersection of the planes uh, two planes are given here and uh, uh, that plane is perpendicular to the plane uh, whose equation is 3x plus 4y minus 2z plus 6 equal to 0, right? So here uh, we are uh, given uh, that uh, we have two planes, right? Suppose uh, this is uh, uh, one plane and uh, uh, let us take another plane. Uh, like this right and this is uh, some other plane right okay so now uh, here we see that uh, uh, these are the uh, two planes this is the plane say uh, p1 and uh, uh, this is plane uh, p2 these are the rough diagrams and this is the plane p2 and this is plane p1 right okay so now uh, here we see that uh, uh, this is the uh, line of intersection of uh, these two planes P1 and P2, right? So the equation of P1 is given as x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 is equal to 0. And uh, the equation of the plane P2 is given as uh, uh, 3z minus y is equal to 0, right? And we have to find the equation of uh, a plane which passes through the line of intersection of these two planes, right? So here uh, P1 and P2 intersect at this line, right? And this line is uh, uh, known as the line of intersection of planes, right? And always remember that whenever two planes intersect they intersect in a line and whenever two lines intersect they intersect in a point right so the uh, intersection of two planes is always a line right and now we have to find the equation of that plane which passes through the line of intersection of uh, uh, these two planes right suppose uh, that plane uh, is like this right and this is the plane say p3 and this uh, the equation of this plane uh, p3 uh, is to be uh, computed right so we have to find the equation of uh, uh, this plane uh, p3 which passes through the line of intersection of p1 and p2 right so we know that uh, the equation of any plane passing through the line of intersection of two given planes P1 and P2 is given by uh, P1 plus lambda P2 is equal to 0, right? So this is the uh, equation of uh, any plane which passes through the line of intersection of P1 and P2. Now uh, let us uh, substitute the value of P1 and P2 here. So P1 is uh, x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 and here uh, P2 is 3z minus y is equal to 0. Right? Now we can uh, simplify this equation uh, by writing it like this and we have uh, uh, 3 lambda z minus lambda y is equal to 0 and now collecting the uh, terms containing x, y and z uh, we have uh, uh, x plus uh, here we have uh, uh, 2 minus uh, lambda y and then we have 3 plus uh, 3 lambda z and uh, here we have minus 4 is equal to 0. Right? So now we have this uh, uh, equation which is the equation of uh, this plane uh, P3. Right? So this equation represents the equation of uh, this plane P3 which passes through the line of intersection of P1 and 
P2 and here uh, we have to find the value of lambda right so lambda is some scalar and this lambda is to be calculated by um, imposing an additional condition on this plane P3 right and the condition is given here see find the equation of the plane passing through the line of intersection of these two planes and perpendicular to the plane right so it means this plane p3 is perpendicular uh, to some uh, other plane uh, say this plane is p4 right so let us take uh, p4 as this plane so p3 is now uh, perpendicular to uh, p4 now viewers we know that uh, whenever two planes are uh, perpendicular suppose uh, this is the plane uh, p3 uh, this is the plane p3 and suppose uh, this is the plane uh, p4 right this plane is p4 and uh, p3 is perpendicular to p4 it implies that this is the normal vector to uh, this uh, uh, plane p3 and this is the normal vector say n4 is uh, the normal vector to this plane uh, p4 right so when two planes are perpendicular always remember when two planes are perpendicular then their uh, normals are also perpendicular so n3 vector is the normal vector to p3 and n4 vector is the normal vector to this plane p4 right so whenever two planes are perpendicular their normals are also perpendicular and whenever two planes are parallel then their normals are also parallel right so now we'll uh, uh, use uh, this uh, concept to determine the value of uh, lambda right so uh, n3 is the normal vector to p3 and here uh, from the equation of p3 we see that the drs of of vector n3 the drs of the plane uh, the normal vector to this plane p3 are given by 1 2 minus lambda and 3 plus 3 lambda right so these are the drs of vector n3 and uh, the drs of the vector n4 are given by the equation of the plane p4 and here the coefficient of x y z are 3 4 and minus 2 right so these are the drs of vector uh, n4 so now we see that this vector n3 is perpendicular to n4 and whenever two vectors are perpendicular their dot product is always zero right so now here we have the drs as 1 2 minus lambda 3 plus 3 lambda here we have 3 4 and minus 2 so we'll use the condition that a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 right so where a1 b1 c1 are the drs of the first vector and a2 uh, b2 c2 are the drs of the uh, second vector right so now uh, uh, this is uh, uh, if we apply this condition to these two uh, vectors so we have 1 times 3 plus 2 minus lambda times 4 and we have 3 plus 3 lambda uh, times minus 2 is equal to uh, 0 right and now this is uh, a linear equation in lambda so we can have here 3 plus 8 minus 4 lambda 4 times 2 4 times lambda and here we have minus 6 and we have minus 6 lambda is equal to 0 right and minus 4 lambda and minus 6 lambda is minus 10 lambda and uh, 3 plus 8 is 11 11 minus 6 uh, is 5 right so we have uh, plus 5 so 10 lambda is equal to 5 and lambda is 5 over 10 that is half 
right so the value of uh, lambda is half so now viewers uh, we have calculated the value of lambda that is half and now uh, we can find out the equation of uh, the plane p3 either by substituting lambda equal to half over here or over here right so we'll uh, uh, prefer this one so we have x plus 2y plus 3z minus 4 uh, plus half and we have 3z minus y is equal to 0 now multiplying throughout by 2 we have 2x plus 4y plus 6z minus 8 plus 3z minus y is equal to 0 so this is 2x plus 4y uh, 4y minus y becomes uh, 3y and uh, then we have 6z plus 3z is 9z and uh, here we have minus 8 and equal to 0 right so we have 2x plus 3y plus 9z minus 8 is equal to 0 is the cartesian equation of uh, uh, this plane uh, p3 right and if we uh, wish to express it in vector form we can write r dot 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 9k cap uh, is equal to 8 so this is the uh, vector form of the equation of uh, this plane p3 which is passing through uh, the line of intersection of the planes uh, p1 and p2 and viewers from this uh, uh, equation uh, we can easily conclude that the drs of the drs of the normal vector to the plane p3 say this is the normal vector right so so this is the uh, normal vector uh, to this plane uh, p3 and uh, uh, this is vector n3 so the drs of the vector uh, n3 are given by 2 3 and 9 right so this is how uh, we solve this problem.